All right, welcome back. Tonight we're going to continue our journey of Game of Thrones in episode three of season three. If you're new here, my name's John and this is Angela. Hey. And I just, my brain shuts off every now and then, so you just witnessed it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Growing fast. Not fast enough. I need an army. Who are you? Thoros of Mir. Who do you fight for? The Brotherhood without banners. Your sister sent me. Yara. I'll come for you tonight when the castle sleeps. What's wrong with him? He's a warg. He can enter the mind of animals and see through their eyes. Get up, Carly. I forbid you to die. Girl. What in seven hells? are you doing with this dark bitch? Go. My father will pay you whatever you want. Enough to buy me a new head. Enough to buy me a new head? It's a dirty with that. Huh? That's it. You can't get rid of it. What? It's a song. <laughs> I was about to say, and when in this instance, if they miss, they gotta keep shooting till they get it. Oh my I god. <laughs> Because he wasn't pulling back far enough. Yeah, it's me. Uh, got it. Bless my God, don't run out there and get it. Bring it back. You don't deserve to wear that little fishy emblem on your heart. <laughs> Shut your mouth about that damn mill. <laughs> I wouldn't let you wave your blunders around like a victory flag. I think King Rob understands we're not going to win this war if he's the only one winning any battles. No, there's glory enough to go around. It's not about glory. I seized an opportunity. What value was the mill? We took the fight to him. He could not withstand us. I wanted to draw the mountain into the west. I wanted him to chase us. I could have that head on a spike by now. Instead, I have a mill. That's his uncle? Yeah. <clears throat> Tywin Lannister has my sisters. Have I sued for peace? Do you think he'll sue for peace because we have his father's brother's great grandsons? Mm. No. You know old Bayless gotta run and shove his nose up somebody's butt.
Hmm. Yeah, you can this away. I bet they say he ain't gonna pick up his chair. <laughs> Just the noise, Cersei. <laughs> what news of Jamie? Do you mean to tell me that none of you has any notion of where he is? We are trying, my lord. Try harder. <laughs> the Lord of Harren Hall will make a worthy suitor for the widow Arryn. For which I am extremely grateful to you, my lord. She has always been positively predisposed toward me. That's <laughs> 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 lovely. <laughs> You'll leave for the Eyrie as soon as possible and bring Lysa Arryn into the fold. Far be it from me to hinder true love, but Lord Baelish's absence would present certain problems. Not a good time to leave the Crown's finances unattended. Fully agreed. Which is why I'm naming you new Master of Coin. Oh, he wants to stay on the council. But what's my Baelish? I hope you're pleased. You'd armed me, they never would have taken it. You were armed when we were taken. <laughs> All my life I've been hearing Jamie Lannister. What a brilliant sword. He was slower than I expected. <laughs> maybe you were as good as people said. Once. <laughs> maybe people just love to overpraise a famous name. Yeah, they do. Gary, they do. Come tonight, you'll be raped. You'd be wise not to resist. Would I? <laughs> if you fight them, they will kill you. Do you understand? Close your eyes, pretend they're Renly. <laughs> if I was a woman, I'd make them kill me. Let me see. It's really. Why are you helping him? He takes his prisoner, and now he's our friend. You're not our prisoner, little lady. His woods aren't safe for Ned Stark's daughter. You think you're good with that bow? You little twat. <laughs> you little twat. <laughs> I like to see a man's face when I put the steel in. Why? So you can kiss him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? We're about to leave. But I'm staying. I baked some brown bread for the innkeep, and she said she never had better. I want the heel. <laughs> Aww. What is it? It's a wolf. Oh, I'm about to say a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like, what do you know about a dinosaur? <laughs> well. Safe. It's probably kind of hard to make a wolf out of bacon bread. Hey, it's like making a cake. Making a cake. <laughs> Goodbye, hot pie. Goodbye, Harry. What's she called? Papa? Hot pie. Uh oh. Look, my man. Hey, hot pie. It's probably good that he's staying, you know? It's really good. A person could almost be forgiven for forgetting we're at war. I've missed you, Uncle. I'm glad you were with him. I wish to the gods I had been. Every time he would leave for the capital or fight in a campaign, I'd see him off. Wait for me, little cat, he'd say. Wait for me, and I'll come back to you. And I would sit at this window every day when the sun came up, waiting. How many times did Bran or Rickon stare across the moors of Winterfell, waiting for me to return? Rob believes they're alive. He's got to remain strong if he's to prevail, and you must remain strong for him. Mm -hmm, Mum, remain strong for Rob, because at the end of the year, you know, Rob be ready. The Rob been put in prison. Is it true what they say about him? That he can turn into a wolf at night? <laughs> and he eats the flesh of his enemies? You've nothing to fear. My husband doesn't eat children. Unless it's a full moon. It's not a full moon tonight, is it? <laughs> Here we go, back in the snow. <laughs> oh. Always the artists. Oh. I cut the hairs off the, the body, dude. Oh. Wow. It's only all 
horses. He said there was dead crows. There was. How many men were here? About 300. And you know what those men are now. Talbot, climb the wall and take this one. He knows Castle Black's defenses better than any of us. If he's useful, good. If not, throw him off the wall. Yeah. We're finally going to war. Old friend, we'll meet again. Aye. If you do your job. <coughs> Send your eagle above the wall every night. When it's time, I'm going to light the biggest fire the North has ever seen. Is that the Yeah, that's the yeah. Ghost? Hmm. It's all thing. What have we here? Frozen crows. A lot of shit to be one person. <laughs> really? He always be doing that. Yeah, right? Keep your eyes where they belong. You should all be kissing my feet for letting you in. I'd have turned you all away if I wasn't a godly man. You are a godly man. <laughs> right? <laughs> Go tell us you can bite down on a rag or she can bite down on my fist. Oh? Bite down on a rag and bite down on my... Really? But she's almost as fat as this one here. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Really? You gotta come for me? That's so weird. Look at that. Come for me like that. One more push should do it. <laughs> oh, it's a boy. Oh, Lord, it's a boy. He ain't gonna make it. Man. It's weasel. He <laughs> <laughs> ain't even breathing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now how are you gonna walk with him? You gonna be able to do it? That's right. Right east. Hmm. You refuse to tell me where you're going? I don't know yet. How long will you be gone? I don't know. He's a big baby. Stannis, he's a big baby. My enemies think they've destroyed me. They're laughing at me. The way Renly laughed at me. Make me another son. I cannot. You don't have the strength. It would kill you. This man. I want you. Am he married? Yeah. Uh -uh. She said I nice. she didn't say it bad. <laughs> your fires burn low, my king. You told me your magic requires a king's blood. Yes. But there are others with your blood in their veins. <laughs> you she gonna go kill now. The walk of punishment is a warning, your grace. To hear. For any slave who contemplates doing whatever these slaves do. Well, is everybody else dead that she passed by? How many wars have you fought in, Sir Barristan? Three. Have you ever seen a war where innocents didn't die by the thousands? There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. Did this one's ears mishear your grace? They did not. Look, what that's born a rachel. Hmm. There goes Kakashi again. I'm like, he always talking mess. There are 8,000 unsullied in Astapor. I will have them all or take none. Go 
Master Krasnitz says you cannot afford this. Your ship will buy you 100 unsullied. <laughs> the gold you have left is worth 10. But good Master Krasnitz will give you 20. The Dothraki you have are not worth what they cost to feed. <laughs> Master Krasnitz asks how you propose to pay for the remaining. 7,877 unsullied. I have dragons. I'll give you one. <laughs> you will win the throne with dragons, not slaves, Your Grace. Khaleesi, please. She looked that look like shut your mouth. Like, <laughs> my mind up. They want the biggest one. Done. Oh. I'll take you as well. Now. Khaleesi, a dragon is worth more than any army. You're both here to advise me. I value your advice, but if you ever question me in front of strangers again, you'll be advising someone else. Hmm. Oh, she had that down pat. Yep. And what about you? You know that I'm taking you to war. You may go hungry. You may fall sick. You may be killed. Valar Mogulis. Yes. All men must die. We are not men. A surprising place to keep the royal ledgers. This is the safest place in the city. Not for bastards. <laughs> Pod. <clears throat> Pod. Take them outside. <laughs> Be there in a moment. Yes, Lord. I hear you owe that boy a significant debt. Only my life. <clears throat> <laughs> Paul Drake, do you yes, keep up? You. Yes, Lord. Paul Drake? Yes, Lord. I finally found a suitable reward for the services you've provided over and above what might be considered reasonable. Have you ever been with a woman? No, oh, my Lord. Jenna specializes in first time. <laughs> Fair enough repayment for putting your spear through my would-be killer's face, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Murray is... Quite the spear handler herself. She's here to thank you for <laughs> staying by my side. That's what y'all call handsome. We don't pass out. My lord, I don't. <laughs> Be back in time for my supper. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't a little. Brace yourself, lad. <laughs> Ah, the return of the conquering hero. Does he have a little jump in his step? <laughs> I trust you got your money's worth for it. Oh, it was a gift, Podrick. I wouldn't take it, my lord. Maybe they're trying to curry some favor with the new master of coin. Have you ever known a whore to turn down gold? <laughs> what did you tell them? I didn't tell them anything. What did you do to them? Lots of things. <laughs> what are you saying? These ladies enjoyed him so much they gave him the time for free. What did you do? That's what I want now. <clears throat> they about to find out what it be. <laughs> Copious details. <laughs> oh, it's, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> This week, you don't even know where he at. That's his name for me. Little Weasel. Little Weasel. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lola. Oh, he about to die. Oh, Lord. Like, if you don't have a look at just... <laughs> yeah. That hurt. Knock the breath out of him. Uh. <laughs> breathe, Weasel, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you got hit in the chest with a steel ball. <laughs> I got the pokey things on. Probably not. Nah, I got the pokey things on. I'd be dead. 
You know how we deal with runaways here, dear? Huh? Right there, bat. Take off his pants. Uh, are you freaking serious? No, 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 no. no. Oh. You hear him putting pants up? <laughs> Gotta help him. You little bastard. Oh, right. Lord. Run the dome. <laughs> in the face! In the face! No! Come, my lord. You're a long way from home. Winter is coming. Don't they want him dead? Oh, they want him back alive. I'll take the big bitch first. When she's good and wet, you lot can finish her off. Told her. Take her over there where it's dark. Oh, oh. You know who she is, don't you? Some big dumb bitch from who cares where. <laughs> <laughs> She's Brienne of Tarth, her father's Lord Selwyn Tarth. Heard of Tarth? They call it the Sapphire Isle. You know why? Every sapphire in Westeros was mined on Tarth. Lord Selwyn would pay his daughter's weight in sapphires if she's returned to him. Hey, Jamie. Actually helping somebody out. Good hey, Jamie. Your father, he'd pay your weight in gold to get you back. You'll be a rich man till the end of your days. Your sons will be rich men and their sons after them. Now that we're speaking together man to man, you need to keep me chained to this tree? <laughs> I'm telling Sir Jamie from the tree. Suppose you'll be wanting something to eat. Vanished, actually. Think we've got a spare partridge on the fire. What they gonna do to him? Bring the bird over here. The carving knife. No, oh, what they gonna do? What do you ah! I'm a stump. <clears throat> wow, I knew, I knew he was gonna do that. You think you're the smartest <laughs> man there is. <laughs> Father. And if you get in any trouble, all you've got to do is say, my father. <laughs> Have you got something to say? No, not really. Who oh, that thing in this? <laughs> oh, you don't want to say the wrong thing. Oh, Lord. I Man, I don't like him too much, but... <laughs> Your daddy. Your daddy ain't here. <laughs> Never forget that. Yeah, this should help you remember. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I guess he met his match, huh? Yeah. Done talking. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't want to hear about my daddy. I'll pay you. Lots of gold. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> you something else. Yeah, so. Wow. Get a team, get off. That's. Wow. But I want to know what little Squire did for them, him not to pay them. That's a good question. Like, what you do? You ain't want payment from you? He got the magic goods. <laughs> he got something. <laughs> if they ain't gonna get paid, he got something. But that was good. That was good. So then he gonna get her army? Get I'm just don't, I don't understand why you gonna give up a dragon. That's, she got two more. But I don't care. I want all three of mine. Call me selfish, but I want all three of mine. Unless she gonna come in there and burn the whole city down. Yeah. But they ain't big to do that. So I don't know. It was a good shot. It was it was good. But that that Jamie Jamie was he a smooth talker man. Yeah. He know how to 
talk his way out of anything, but he yeah. talked his way into getting his dog on hand chopped off. Yeah. That didn't work out too well for old Mr. You just Smooth need to be the smartest man around, don't you? Because you read books. <laughs> That's so funny. Four hours a day, my dad made me read books. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not funny. I don't know. That's not funny. But, well, you know, all this fair. And war. <laughs> And that's hey. Sam back there with his girlfriend. Yeah, and she had a boy, so that means they're gonna get the boy, the baby away to the Walkers. Yeah. So when because I know Sam gonna try to do something stupid. <laughs> I know he is. Cause she looked at him. Oh wait a minute, she talked to him. So he's in love. You know, so I know you're going to do something stupid. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you like what you see, you know, comment. We love the comments. Thank you guys so much for all the comments. Hit the like and subscribe and comment. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you later, alligators. <laughs> oh, really?